the best tool to replace Google's Notebook LM. Notebook LM is great, but it has had one major problem that I don't think they're fixing anytime soon. The tool I'm going to show you guys today solves this problem and does so much more. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Today, we're talking about a tool called Recall. I just love it. It's easily one of the best ways to use AI to actually improve your life. They've just released an amazing new update and it's the reason I can no longer justify using Notebook LM like at all. In this video, I want to take you through the three innovative features that make Recall one of the most powerful tools available. Automatic organization, augmented browsing, and now global chat. Notebook LM has zero of these insane features. And number three is Recall's brand new feature. And it's the specific reason I'm making this video. The absolute nail in the coffin as far as I'm concerned. Recall did kindly agree to sponsor this video, so use the link below to check it out and support the channel. Thank you guys. You probably use Notebook LM for the same things that I do. Researching topics, bookmarking content, summarizing videos, it's it's great for all of that. But in Notebook LM, you have to sort everything manually into individual notebooks. So what if instead of starting fresh every time in a new notebook, all your research could live and work together. That's where Recall comes in. It's by far the most convenient way to capture insights from anything you find on the internet. Let me show you what I mean by walking you through how I use the tool. This is the best way to use Recall. It's free to install. And then when you go to YouTube, you'll see this little pull tab here and you can move it around however you want. And you have a few options here. So this is a three hour long podcast. I love Naval Ravikant, but I don't have time to watch him talk for three hours. So if I want to actually extract his insights, I need to use AI and Recall makes it so easy. If we hover over the little arrow here, we can choose a detailed summary or a concise summary. And just like that, the full summary is finished with timestamps that you can click on. You can see it's still processing all the information. It just finished. And now we can actually chat with it. So let's say we can just do a little message like that. And then it pulls out the three key ideas that it thinks are best. And you have the option to click add to notebook and then import this chat message in as well. You can also click on reader and it's going to pull up the just normal transcript. And then for connections, you can see all the different things that it's pulled out of this conversation. Steve Jobs, Tim Ferriss, PayPal, an absolute game changer, right? Like creating all this for yourself in Obsidian or Notion would take hours. It would take so long. It would be impossible. And then back inside Recall, you can see it right here. We can click on it. And this is going to be like the full screen view of the same stuff. So we have everything that we would want to work with here, but you can also see the graph view. So here's all the ideas and concepts of people that it pulled from the podcast. And if we click on show more, it'll actually show other connections that take it a little bit further out. And you can also save other things to recall. So let's say you want to do a Spotify podcast. You can click here and generate a concise summary. It's currently summarizing it. And in just a few seconds, we have a full summary of this podcast episode. For a long time, you couldn't get summaries out of, out of podcasts that were on platforms like Spotify. So this is huge. And again, it's the same thing. You can chat with it. You can see the connections that it finds the various links it's created. And it also works for Substack. So this is a Substack article. Just in general, it works for basically all articles, right? And it's the same thing. You just click on this arrow here and we can do a detailed summary this time. And it's gonna pull in that article text and create a summary for us and save it to our graph. This one only took a few seconds and we're done. And now all these new things are saved and organized inside of Recall. All we did was do one click. The browser extension works on everything. It even worked on TikTok for me, which is crazy. You can also bulk import all of your existing bookmarks. So whether that's traditional bookmarks from a browser or maybe Notion or Pocket, whatever you use, you can just click on create card and you can go to import. And from here, you can import from your browser, from Pocket or Markdown files. So you would just export them from Notion or Obsidian as Markdown files, and then you can upload them to Recall super easily. And that's in addition to just manually creating new cards here. You can paste in a URL, you can search for something from Wikipedia here, 
or you can just add a PDF. I'm someone who has always wanted a perfect second brain, if you know what that is. I've built several in Notion, Obsidian, and other tools over the years. When ChatGPT took off a few years ago, I realized that second brains were basically being replaced by this new technology, it was just a matter of time. So I've waited and waited for a tool that has had the benefits of a second brain, but with the power that AI allows. With Recall, I feel like that day has finally come. It automatically organizes everything that you save and it turns everything you save into this intelligent knowledge base without you having to do anything. So this is inside Recall. This is like my dashboard. You can see things that I've saved here. We have a few different controls. So if I click this little sidebar, I can open up all the different things I've saved here. They're all automatically categorized into these different folders, right? Finance, education, design, biology, whatever I'm interested in. And then we can control how it looks. We can do a grid or a list. They have a great search system. If we go to the graph, you can see this beautiful little visual that pops up, right? This is everything that I've saved. We're also seeing the big ideas, right? So you can see here, we've got Steve Jobs as a item within my graph, right? And you can see the lines here connecting to different pieces of content where he's been referenced or maybe there was a quote of his in there. It also knows he's a person, so it's automatically been labeled a person. I didn't do any of that. I didn't add this image of him. None of that was done by me. That was all done by recall. Before, when I built second brains in Notion or Obsidian, I had to do all of that manually and it ultimately led to burnout and then the second brain just doesn't get managed. This is a huge improvement. And if we click on the sidebar here, we can open it up and see the same pieces of content that have been saved and we can click on one and it'll actually take you to it within the graph here. If we click on review, we can actually generate questions four different things we've saved. I can go to any of the things I've saved here, like this one on how to generate creative ideas, and I can actually go to quiz and generate questions. Then the AI will analyze the content and turn it into five questions. And if we click on manage questions, we can see what it's created, and then we can click start a review. And then it's like flashcards. But Recall gets even better with something called augmented browsing. This is probably the most unique feature I've ever seen in any tool. Honestly, this is one of those things where you didn't know you needed it until you had it. And then you're like, wow, I can't live without this. Let me show you what I mean. You can see right here, if we hover over the article text, that there are these little pop-ups that appear on certain keywords. And it's pulling the information from my knowledge graph inside of Recall. He says, I started with Ben Franklin and it has a card here of a YouTube video that I've saved from Walter Isaacson talking about Ben Franklin, right? So we can see these connections that are happening from an article that I haven't even saved into my knowledge graph. This is just on the website. I didn't do anything with it yet. These are just automatically occurring. We can see right here, that I've saved this PDF where it references the Renaissance. And this is a new connection that I wouldn't expect to see, right? Leonardo da Vinci and then this random PDF I've saved. Such a cool feature and this is happening across all the pages that I'm browsing on all the time, but it's not intrusive, you know? You don't have to hover over these things, you can just keep reading. And when you do want them and you do want to see like, oh, who was Albert Einstein? You can see everything that you've saved about him, which is huge. And now finally, I wanna show you the big new feature, the feature that made me completely switch. With Notebook LM, you're stuck in isolated projects. Instead, Recall's knowledge base now has global chat that lets you have conversations across all of your saved content at once. No dealing with notebooks or managing sources or deciding which sources to keep or get rid of for that notebook so you don't hit your limit. Not fun at all, right? So this is huge, guys. This is why I'm making this video. This allows you to chat across everything you've ever saved. And it's just in a simple interface like you would see from ChatGPT. There's not a lot going on here. It's just clean and easy to use. If we click on the at symbol, we can select different things that I've saved and chat with them individually. We can also add multiple here if we want to and just focus in on those ideas, those pieces of content. But I just wanna chat broadly here with the entire knowledge graph and see what kind of results we can get. So here I said, what are some insights or tips that I can implement from my notes about sleep? And now it's going through the knowledge graph and you can see here it's pulled from two different sources a huberman podcast and then another sleep compilation podcast youtube video that i've saved and it's pulling out that information and organizing it 
I mean, this is just so useful, guys, right? I've imagine if I had three or four, maybe 10 different pieces of content that are really great from experts about sleep, the results would just get even better. From these two right here, it was able to create a really solid plan about how to improve my sleep. Now let's do another one. So I said, based on my notes, can you give me a plan to increase my income with an online business? Okay, so it used three different sources here to give me some business advice with the individual sources and timestamps linked here. I really love how everything is so well formatted in these responses. Everything is so simply laid out and easy to read and actually use. Okay, so here I have asked it to find quotes from people in my notes that will help me better understand creativity. Doing this manually would take hours and not every quote uses the keyword creativity, so actually finding them is hard. Great ideas can be generated by combining old ideas in new ways. We've got some quotes from this PDF that I've saved. These are great and this is really helpful. Doing this manually would have taken hours, right? Okay, now I'm asking it to find five habits I should implement from my notes and let's see what happens. Okay, just like that, it's done. And some of these are really interesting, right? Like use repetition to build skill nuance. So that's something that's very not generic. You're not going to find a uh, recommendation like that from just a random top Google search result or from asking ChatGPT, right? It's pulling it from this transcript of Alex Ramosi's video. And that's great advice, right? Able to take things that you've previously watched and just reapply them in new ways with this chat extremely fast is so cool and fun and just really valuable to be honest. This is really one of the few AI tools that has helped me become a better version of myself. Stop trying to remember everything. Recall genuinely changes how you consume and retain information. If you want to try it out for yourself, sign up using the link in the description. You also find a discount down there that you can use if you do want to subscribe. And if you want to check out some of my other videos that I made, here's some on the screen. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one.